Hello, I'm actually heading out today to pick up a special guest for today's vlog. Hopefully, everything will turn out the way I have planned, but we're going to do a library tour. And um, yeah, so we'll see how this goes. I will check back in shortly. Toodles. Bum, bum, da 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 da, bum, bum, da. Let's stop recording. Hello, here is the special guest who's magically Hi. appeared. Hello. It's Rachel. Hi. I'm in the library. That's me. We are going to do a little library tour. Hopefully we'll hit at least one or two before things close. So we're not going to lollygag here, okay? We're going to get some food to sustenance, you know, fuel us. and then I'm excited for the food. Yes. Also, to be fair, this probably would be a longer vlog, but I slept like the dead until like noon. So <laughs> that's my bad. <laughs> me and Rachel had to, me and uh, Steph had to work together to raise her from her <laughs> crypt. So just so a couple of subtle texts <laughs> in the chat. And eventually it was like, Huh? What's that? <laughs> like, Wait a minute. <laughs> what time what is, it? is that? All right, yes. let me get off Twitter. Let me find out what's going on. <laughs> yes. So we have we have a rec you know resurrected Rachel, and now we're literally gonna start the vlog. Goodbye. Let's go. Shout out to Coco Roll. We didn't get any footage. When I say we, I mean me, the vlogger here. <laughs> we didn't get any footage eating our delicious lunch. Oh, really but there's evidence it was existed. Boba and all. All right. So we have done our secret stop to Steph. And now we're at the Branch Library Art Center. Brand. brand. Oh, brand. Yeah. The Brand Library and Art Center. Yeah. Okay. It looks good from the outside. It's really pretty. If I could switch my thing, but, you know, we're using iPhones. And we can't have that iPhones ability. Can't do that? No, we don't have that ability. We could take a picture of ourselves right now, though. Insert I could do that here. Too. Insert here. <laughs> <laughs> but we can't actually flip the camera mid record. Let me show you something. I'd have to restart it. Okay, so now it's going. And now, yeah. And now and you're going to see. Like, this is. But no. Yeah, then we could take a picture. <laughs> we could take a picture. Take a picture. Another, <laughs> another one. And there you are. I'm telling you, Android. Top notch. See, top I would line. say that, but Christine had a Google phone for the longest time. I'm not talking about Google. I'm talking about like a Samsung Galaxy. Okay, yeah. S20 I, well, I Plus, used, like I used hello. to have a Samsung Galaxy back in the day. Back but in the day. Now all my items are iPhone. And yes, maybe they have it on the newer iPhone. I'm using an iPhone 8. Shout out to <laughs> Apple for a sponsorship. I will gladly upgrade my phone for free. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> If you want a better review, give me a new iPhone. I'm sure you guys have these <laughs> features. But on the iPhone 8 that I'm using. That's a great way of saying it. <laughs> um, I need an upgrade. All right, let's do this. for sale because it's for the library no I doubt they buy it actually 
but my art is so, you know, poignant. It deserves to be here. <laughs> It's like that also, time. Also, it's like when you run your code and it still doesn't work and you're like, okay, I don't yeah. even know what that thing's like. What did I do? Tell me what I did wrong. This just yeah. takes me back to logic class yeah. where I have to learn all the theorems. And I'm like, is, yeah. if then if that. If this, then that. Yeah. If and only if that. I barely got through that class. <laughs> it's a rough class. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, you're the, Yes, this has been a lovely lecture. This is my TED Talk. Yes, TED Talk. Okay. All right, so we are at stop number dose. And we are at a place near to my old stomping grounds. I have never noticed this library. It is the North Hollywood Amelia B. Earhart Memorial. Amelia B? Uh, I'm guessing know. on the middle name. Because at this point, I'm reading from the side. But it's a Mary, Amelia uh, Earhart regional branch. You know, Amelia Earhart, you know, branch. like the woman in the plane. That went know? missing 180 days. I think I'm making up two stories. I don't think that's but <laughs> there are two different, you know, <laughs> theories that she was also the woman who went around the world in 180 days. Isn't that a theory? Anyway, she went missing in the air, <laughs> and we know her story. She was played by. Do you know her story? <laughs> She was played by Hilary Swank, I believe, in a film. I might be making that up. She, it could have story. been Jessica Chastain, for all I know. Anyway, we're at a library branch <laughs> in her honor. <laughs> I don't see any plant planes on the roof. Maybe they'll have some facts But I'm sure her. it's just like her, you know, family's foundation. It's like her legacy. Yeah, they know? were just maybe like, we live in the area. Maybe she's her? from this area. Well, maybe, because then we'll actually know like what she did. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. yeah. Wikipedia. Yeah. So anyway, we're gonna stop out. Days I really don't think so either. Think but just know that she is a founding pioneer in aviation, and that's really. I loved her. Like I loved learning about her in school. So I'm excited to be here. So that's why we're here today. Okay. Um, anything, anything else before we hop out? Yes, she's still drinking the spill <laughs> from Coco Roll. Uh, sponsor it's us. Delicious. Yes. Okay, Sponsor Mo. Sponsor Mo. And the roomies I just, you know, Christine loves Boba too. Yeah, do it. Okay, goodbye. Goodbye. Right, bye. <laughs>
You really just made up something. That's there. a letter. This is... I'm a guess. I'm... Oh my god, it's Amelia Earhart. It's Amelia Earhart. Okay, I'm pretty sure none of these are actually about Amelia Earhart, so I feel a little bit lied to. Yes. Yeah. Girl from Squid Games. Queen. Queen. Beautiful. Oh it's my god. Nice. You know what? Amelia does have taste. She's right. Are you at the bows? Doja. Doja. Okay, see? She knew. She knew. She knew. She knew what she was doing. might be our final stop today because time is not on our side and we are at the Los Feliz location and I am on the lookout for first contact sci-fi I have a sci-fi expert here I know like five sci-fi books off the top of my head yes and she's gonna give me all of them and we're gonna hope they're in this library so we'll see what I get at the end of this if there's a haul is there a haul do I have finds at the library Stay tuned. Do you have finds in the library? I, I did, but Christine said that they, like, went away with finds. Oh, but are I, they, like, subscribers? They, like, subscribed to the channel and they were like, let me do something for you? Just no, I think, like, all, I don't know if it's county or public, but one of them doesn't do finds anymore. What? Like, over, they were like, yeah, we don't do finds. And I'm oh like, what? Now, that's the question. Is it the one we're at? I have a feeling it's not, and I have a feeling I still owe money. So, we'll figure out what to do there with that when you say you owe fines like a lot <laughs> the blog comes back when you say you own fines owe fines do you mean like a dollar or like seven the thing about me is i'm not exactly sure you know and that's the issue you know it could be 17 i hope they have a cap you know like i really hope there's a cap on like because i have a parking ticket problem too not on this new vehicle Bless. <laughs> on my old vehicle, I had a parking ticket problem. So I I have fines, you know? Just lots of fines totaling uh -huh. up. And if I see the word fine, I'm just like, I will pay that later. But then that, you know, it's you a need, rolling. Like, true bill, but for like your whole life. <laughs> <laughs> like for everything. They're like, you haven't returned this library book. It is now 44 past due. Past due. 44 days past due? I haven't done that. I'm just saying it's possible I have. I've only done 43 days past due. I haven't done 44 All right, days now. Past due. <laughs> zoom in edit mo zoom in here okay <laughs> all right let's
This is supposed to be very good for this context. I haven't personally read it, but it's supposed to be great. I want it. Hello, editing Mo here. Oh my gosh, I look crazy. Um, so as you can see, the library is closed and, um, I don't have any footage leaving the library, but I do have footage at the barcade, which was where we met the girlies. Um, so there are some clips there and then we go straight into the hall. So stick to stay tuned for the hall. Um, I'll show you guys what I got from the libraries. Bella, I found your new bow. <laughs> the ponytail is swinging. No. Dang! And he's a champion, Jayla. <laughs> Successful. Successful. You can have a chance. Oh. I don't see it going well for Rachel, but maybe it'll come through. Oh, I spoke too soon. Oh, I did not. I changed it. That ponytail holds all his power. The ponytail holds all of his power. Stephanie did. Uh, <laughs> it was you, I know it. It wasn't me. I've got mine right here. Oh. <laughs> I'm sorry, Stephanie. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Which one do we want to do? Oh, are we going to put this race under Stephanie? It was right here. Oh. He is coming for Steph behind. As you can tell, Steph is doing a great job. <laughs> 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 it's a serious money success of it. Oh. She's still up. She's now. Nope. She's still in the lead. There's only three seconds left. Two minutes. You guys have been following me along around town and I actually really did pick up some science fiction books. Yes, I was looking for a particular manga, aka The Way of the House Husband, but it was nowhere to be found, but that's okay because I will figure out a way to get it. Not a big deal. But what we did get, what we did get were four spectacular sci-fi finds mostly recommended to me by Rachel from Let Me in the Library, but I read the backs of them and they sound like they're going to be genuinely good times. So first up, as you can see, I have in my hand, Red Mars by Kim Stanley Robinson. Apparently this like whole Mars series that he's made, I think it's a trilogy, but it's award winning. And I, I don't know if you guys know this, but I like a little thing called The Expanse. So people moving to planets, and like making a whole community, a whole world, seems very interesting to me. And so I am intrigued to see how they are able to live on Mars. Um, we'll see how it goes for them and i am see how I like it. So yeah, I'm excited to read this one. This one gives me kind of expanse vibes. Um, not as, you know, 
far reaching. We'll see. I don't know how what happens after the first book, but I'm getting good vibes from this one. So I think I'm going to start this one first. Then we have Children of Time by Adrian Chai Chayofsky. Adrian Trayofsky and this is a similar premise where like earth is now become unhabitable and they are like leaving earth and going to this new planet where it turns out they have these things prepared for them like all the the planet is like terraformed and habitable apparently and ready to be lived on by humans but when they get there there are new creatures new inhabitants living there and it's like not the dream land they thought it was gonna be so now they're like kind of having some conflict with these uh creatures that are living on this planet which is what i'm thinking it's gonna be about it sounds like it's gonna be a, a fun time i really like books that have to do with first contact so i'm like okay we'll see how these aliens are gonna be like hopefully it's like more sciencey than like fantasy but we'll see we'll see what happens now this one, this is a deep cut that Rachel found like in her own library and she saw it was on the shelf at my library. So I was like, okay, um, I'm going to give it a chance. <laughs> I picked it up. She's It's literally called Gun with Occasional Music and it follows this man Conrad who has like his whole set of things he's going with. But he also has to like fight anthropomorphic animals like they're, they're trying to kill him. So I don't know what is going on with that, but I mean, it sounded funny and I'd like a good, you know, noir flick drama. So we'll see, noir, but make it sci-fi. So we'll see how this goes. I don't know much about it besides Rachel saying she had a fun time. So yes. And then finally, I haven't actually read any of the short stories that Ted Chiang made, but Arrival is one of my favorite movies and it's been on my list to read the short stories that you know helped create Arrival which I get is one of my favorite movies so this is just another set of short stories written by Ted because we're on first name this obviously written by him and I am interested to see what kind of worlds and stories he makes so this is something I am excited for it's called I believe what I said it's called Exhalation and see how it goes but yes that concludes all of the books I got from the library tour um let me know if you guys like this or if you've read any of these books or you have any other recommendations uh for sci-fi that are like first contact or any good mangas that you're reading and yeah I will see you in the next one until next time bye oh wait Christine will not like me if I don't forget to say like comment subscribe you know what to do like if you like this comment below and subscribe if you want to see more of this kind of stuff but again until next time goodbye